Mastering ISO 19011 Auditing for operational excellence is only as good as the organization that dares to tailor it to its own ruthless ambitions. Where do the key principles of auditing for operational excellence, as outlined in ISO 19011, intersect with our organization's specific needs and objectives, and how can their application enhance our overall performance and drive continuous improvement? The key principles of auditing for operational excellence, as outlined in ISO 19011, are designed to provide a structured approach to auditing management systems, with the goal of driving continuous improvement and enhancing overall performance. In order to effectively apply these principles and unlock their full potential, it is essential to identify the areas where they intersect with our organization's specific needs and objectives. First and foremost, the principle of risk-based thinking is critical to identifying areas of operational risk that could impact our organization's ability to achieve its objectives. By applying this principle, we can focus our auditing efforts on the areas that matter most, and identify opportunities for improvement that will have the greatest impact on our overall performance. This can be achieved by conducting a thorough risk assessment, which will enable us to prioritize our auditing efforts and allocate our resources more effectively. Another key principle of auditing for operational excellence is the importance of a process-based approach. This involves identifying the key processes that drive our organization's operations, and evaluating their effectiveness in achieving our objectives. By applying this principle, we can identify areas where our processes may be inefficient, ineffective, or non-compliant, and implement changes that will drive improvement and reduce risk. This can be achieved by mapping our key processes, identifying areas for improvement, and implementing changes that will drive efficiency and effectiveness. The principle of objective-based auditing is also critical to driving operational excellence. This involves setting clear objectives for our auditing efforts, and evaluating our performance against these objectives. By applying this principle, we can ensure that our auditing efforts are focused on driving continuous improvement, and that we are measuring our performance in a way that is meaningful and relevant. This can be achieved by setting clear objectives for our auditing efforts, identifying key performance indicators KPIs, that will measure our progress, and regularly reviewing and reporting on our performance. In addition to these principles, the application of auditing methodologies, such as the process approach, is essential to driving operational excellence. This involves evaluating our processes against established standards and criteria, and identifying areas for improvement. By applying this principle, we can ensure that our processes are aligned with our objectives, and that we are continually improving our performance. This can be achieved by identifying the key standards and criteria that are relevant to our organization, evaluating our processes against these standards, and implementing changes that will drive improvement. The principle of auditor competence is also critical to driving operational excellence. This involves ensuring that our auditors have the necessary skills, knowledge, and experience to evaluate our management systems effectively. By applying this principle, we can ensure that our auditing efforts are effective, and that our auditors are able to identify areas for improvement that will drive continuous improvement. This can be achieved by providing our auditors with the necessary training and development opportunities, ensuring that they have the necessary expertise and experience, and evaluating their performance on a regular basis. Finally, the principle of continuous improvement is essential to driving operational excellence. This involves continually evaluating our auditing efforts, and identifying areas for improvement. By applying this principle, we can ensure that our auditing efforts are continually improving, and that we are driving continuous improvement across our organization. This can be achieved by regularly reviewing and reporting on our auditing efforts, identifying areas for improvement, and implementing changes that will drive continuous improvement. In terms of how the application of these principles can enhance our overall performance and drive continuous improvement, there are several key benefits that can be realized. Firstly, the application of these principles can help to identify areas of operational risk that could impact our ability to achieve our objectives, and enable us to take corrective action to mitigate these risks. Secondly, the principles can help to drive efficiency and effectiveness, by identifying areas where our processes may be inefficient or ineffective, and implementing changes that will improve our performance.
Thirdly, the principles can help to ensure that our auditing efforts are focused on driving continuous improvement, and that we are measuring our performance in a way that is meaningful and relevant. Finally, the principles can help to ensure that our auditors have the necessary skills, knowledge, and experience to evaluate our management systems effectively, and that our auditing efforts are continually improving. In terms of how the application of these principles can drive continuous improvement, there are several key benefits that can be realized. Firstly, the principles can help to drive a culture of continuous improvement, by identifying areas for improvement and implementing changes that will drive improvement. Secondly, the principles can help to ensure that our auditing efforts are focused on driving continuous improvement, and that we are continually evaluating our performance and identifying areas for improvement. Thirdly, the principles can help to ensure that our auditors have the necessary skills, knowledge, and experience to evaluate our management systems effectively, and that our auditing efforts are continually improving. Finally, the principles can help to ensure that our organization is continually learning and improving, by identifying areas for improvement and implementing changes that will drive continuous improvement. In conclusion, the key principles of auditing for operational excellence, as outlined in ISO 19011, are critical to driving continuous improvement and enhancing overall performance. By applying these principles, we can identify areas of operational risk that could impact our ability to achieve our objectives, drive efficiency and effectiveness, ensure that our auditing efforts are focused on driving continuous improvement, and ensure that our auditors have the necessary skills, knowledge, and experience to evaluate our management systems effectively. By applying these principles, we can drive continuous improvement across our organization, and ensure that we are continually learning and improving.